On Drop Rate is a series all about testing my luck. Each episode I will pick one or multiple activities to do and one specific unique to get from those activities. But there is a twist. I am only able to do this activity until I am exactly on Drop Rate. Kill 5000 Listen Men Shamans to get a Dragon Warhammer. Defeat 512 Venonares to achieve a Treasonous Ring or loot 300 Rifts to obtain an Abyssal Needle are all ideas going by this rule. To spice it up even further, if I manage to get the item within the limited attempts, I get to keep everything I earned including the unique item. If I do not get it however, I have to forfeit half of all the money I earned during the grind to one of you guys, the viewers. But now, let's get into the video. In this episode of On Drop Rate, we are going to one of the few minigames that are still actually pretty active in old school runescape, being Soul Wars. The minigame has good rewards and also is both a combination of PvP and PvE, so it really makes both of the sides happy, and that is why I think the minigame is actually as alive as it is. Each game of Soul Wars is roughly 15 minutes long and you can get 40 seeds for losing at a maximum, 50 for a draw and 60 for a win. To explain the minigame, extremely simple, you basically kill NPCs, put the loot that you get from the NPCs into an obelisk that you have to have PvP control of to lower the enemy's avatar strength. When the avatar of the enemy team has lower strength, you can actually do damage to it and the team with the most avatar kills at the end of the game is the winner. Because this is episode number 30, a 10th episode, we're always going for a pet, and the item we're going for is the little creator, the pet of Soul Wars, and it's a 1 in 400 drop rate from the spoils of war that you can buy for 30 seal each. Now these crates also give a decent amount of money, so even if I would not get the pet in the 12,000 possible seal that I would have to get, I still would make a decent amount of money, so of course, if I do not get the pet, that is money that's going to the giveaway. But with all that out of the way, let's actually get into the video. The first game that we play is already a win, and I think I have maximized my seal gain, so we should be getting 60 for this, hopefully that is true. Yes, there we go, 60 seals earned, that is already 2 crates out of the possible 400 obtained. I want to draw your attention real quick to this person right here. This person is called Comboed, and she is currently rank 2 in the entire Soul Wars minigame, with 687,000 seals. That is pretty nuts. Now, because of course you can get some lucky hours where you basically win every single game, and some of them you can be terribly unlucky and lose every single game, I felt like doing a one hour test to see how many points I would get to see how long the grind is going to be at a maximum, was not too adequate. So what I've decided to do is I've done four hours of it. So you can see right there, four hours and three minutes. And my current point is right now 829 points. So it seems like I'm getting around 200 points an hour and I need 12,000 points to get 400 crates if I would get on drop rate and not actually get the pet. That is 60 hours of doing Soul Wars. But I could always be lucky and get it right away on the first one, of course. But I'm going to be opening the crates every 3,000 points that I get, which is 100 crates. So we're going to be doing a maximum of 4 openings of 100 crates at a time. You know, even though this is a PKing minigame, I did not expect to want to PK a lot because I'm not really a massive PKer. But I've been doing this now for 7.5 hours and we have 1.7k seal and most of my time is just spent being frozen and not being able to attack back to people. And the Fang is definitely a crazy good weapon, I get a lot of like hit 50s with special attack on players and just KO them. But I'm going to change my setup up a bit and actually get some PKs. If you look at all the people around me, none of them are wearing any capes, and that is because in the minigame you actually get assigned a cape, a blue or red one depending on what team you're in, and that means you can't actually bring an Avos accumulator, and I'm going to be using a dragon crossbow with diamond dragon bolts, but you can actually use an Avos accumulator on Nomad right here, and he will make it so that the cape that you get in the minigame works just like an Avos accumulator, so let's talk to him do this and there's going to be an animation and there we go now it will automatically pick up my bolts in the mini game you know initially i was going to bring magic but i don't really have a good magic setup and it's just too much switches for me so i'm just going to be bringing a four-way range switch with an ags i'm not sure if the ags is actually better than using just this mountain's fang spec because it's so accurate but i'm going to try a game where i just pk the entire time and see if it's actually good points. If it's very bad points and it's not really worth it, I'm just going to keep doing what I'm already doing with the uh, soul fragments and killing the boss and all that. 
But it's going to be interesting to try it out. And by the way, I do have to attack people that are higher level because it is kind of based on that how many points you get. If you attack low level people all the time, you will get basically no points for it. So let's actually see what happens. The game is about to end and we won this game. So how many seals am I going to get? 48. And I spent the entire time PKing in the middle, keeping the pillar the entire time. And I only got 48 points. I should have got 60. Basically every single time I've uh, won so far, I've got 60. So I guess I have to do a bit of a variety of activities. I have to get some soul fragments, PK some, do a bit of everything. Oh my god, that's a big hit. Oh my god, 43. Okay, I know he's a low level, but this is why I actually wanted to bring ranged 40 with a whack. Oh my goodness. Yeah, bringing switches is definitely more fun in here because otherwise versus that guy, I would have been frozen and not been able to do anything for like 15 seconds. So in like 11 hours of doing Soul Wars now, I would say about 75% of the games, I've seen the same guy in the games every single time. And that's the guy that's outside of the grave right now. He has full tank armor with Staff of the Dead. And his name is literally Grave Camper 2. He just stands outside here every single time. And when you go out, he has the special attack of Staff of the Dead, which reduces the damage your target does by 50% for one minute. So he basically just specs us down so we do less damage every single time. So I noticed that there are actually multiple people called Grave Camper. You see in this stack there's Grave Camper 2, which we saw before, and then lower down there's Grave Camper 3. And I looked it up. There is a Grave Camper 1 with 19k Solrus points. The number 2 we already saw has 14k, 3 has 20k, and there are 4 and 5 as well. And I would assume that this is the same guy doing this. And then we have six, which is not created yet. So it seems like one person, maybe there's multiple of them, have five accounts doing Soul Wars, doing the same thing on all of them. As I said, doing the same thing on all of them, even in the same team, Grave Camper 1 and 2 is chilling at the graveyard. Alright, I think after this game, we should have the first batch of 3000 points. So let's see what we get. No shot, dude. 50. <laughs> No way! 2,999! Well, uh, I guess I have to do one more game. So I did another game after that, and I got 3,055 points. And uh, you can, of course, buy experience for this, but that is not what I'm going to be doing. You can also imbue some stuff, like at the Nightmare Soul, the rings, the Slayer Helmet, all that. But we're going to, of course, be buying the Spoils of War before you could only buy one at a time, and that would have been miserable. But they do have a Buy X now. You can't actually buy 100 at a time if I do this. And then go there. It will say your inventory do not have space for that. So I have to buy 28 at a time. But that is not that bad. Let's actually do that. 28 for, uh, for 840 points. Do that. And now I can actually bank these. I can go in here, put them in and get 28 more. And there we go. That is all the 100 bots. And uh, this right here is a 25% chance of getting the pet. And I am going to start off by opening 10 of them just to see what the loot is like from one inventory and i can actually open them very quickly like that so it's not a big deal it won't take a long time opening these and one inventory of 10 was worth 819k so 89k or 82k i guess per crate so far not that bad i think i will make a decent amount of money from opening these of course you can get cabbage which is kind of un unfortunate by the way one uh, thing i noticed is that i got 16,000 pure essence that could be insane for Iron Man, and I think I can actually go for like 15 in every inventory. So I guess I'll just spam like this every time and see what this inventory was like. Just uh, as an example, 1.2 million. So yeah, it seems like every crate is worth like 90 something like that, K. Okay? Very strange bug I have on Runelight though. It says 10 crates, but this is obviously more loot than from 10 crates. It says almost 2 million, so I think it actually tracked all the loot that I got, but it only says 10 of them, so kind of weird. But hopefully all the loot will be included at least on the tracker, just not the correct amount that I opened. And we are down to the last two crates of the first 3,000 points. Are we going to get lucky on these last two? Probably not. No, we do not. But uh, the loot is, uh, I think, everything was tracked on the rune light tracker, just not the correct amount of crates, as I said. And uh, yeah, 7.6 million is definitely not too bad from that. So if we go all the way to 4,000 crates, or sorry, 400 crates, <laughs> then 4,000 would have been kind of insane. Uh, we should be getting around 28 to 30 million GP, which is definitely not that bad. And oh my god, 
Look at that. Imagine for an Iron Man, 100k pure essence. That would last you so long for just... 15 hours pretty much oh yeah also i did actually record the time that took and if we go over here to the side that took me 15 and a half hours to get so yeah quite some time to get that so it should be like 60 hours a bit more than that to get all the 12,000 points that would be on drop rate now when it comes to the collection log of Soul Wars, I have already got the Ectoplasmator, I don't even remember from where, but uh, the Soul Wars cape is 2.5k points and the pet is just obviously from the crates, 1 in 400. So if I would get the pet on this grind, actually completing this, green logging it, would not be that difficult. Bob PKer Bob. What is this absolute giga chad with a fury and full granite? I'm sorry mate, you're dead. Oh my god, he almost killed me! Oh my- Dude, there's no shot. Bob PK Bob is an absolute giga chad! Oh my goodness. Wait, I looked him up on the high scores. This dude is rank 5 in Soul Wars. Excuse me? There's no way. That, that guy has to be a bot. If you're not a bot, man, and you're watching this, I am so sorry for saying that, but... Uh, who else has full granite running around called Bob P. Care Bob? It, and maybe it's a meme or something, I don't know. I've actually always wanted to try Dark Bombing, so I'm going to try that for a couple of games and see if I can get some massive hits in. In the wilderness, I was always scared of risking too much, but of course you don't risk anything in here, so it's going to be very interesting to see what I can hit. Unfortunately, I don't have the strange device from Master Clue Scrolls to press. I think it's actually more effective, but I did swap my left click on the Dwarven Rock Cake to Gossel, and that is the one that does the most damage, so it's going to be fine to use this. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that is pretty much what you can expect most of the time, I think. You just go in, hit like a 10 or something, and you just absolutely get KO'd. Oh, 87! That was not even a max hit, and I was, I think I was below 10 HP. I'm not sure what HP you need to be to get the max hit, but uh, seeing that I can hit higher than 87 is pretty fun. Oh, that's big, 91, and I'm dead, but that was not even a max hit, holy... Give me the big hits. 67. Just one more hit, please. Just one massive hit. Oh my god, we actually got it. And I'm dead. That was so worth it. Oh, we hit the 94. The max hit we can get. He didn't even die on that. But yeah, it's rough to play Darox. You die very often. But uh, nice, we got the max hit. But it's been roughly another 15 hours. Actually, if we go over here, it is now 30 hours and 49 minutes invested into this grind. We're going to be stopping the timer. Meanwhile, we open the new crates, but we now have over 3000 points again. And there we go. That is another 100 spoils of war. I'm going to be opening these slightly slower for Runelight to actually keep track of them. I think I clicked through them a bit too fast last time. But let's go ahead and open these 100 and hopefully see that pet. Now, one of the unique items that you can actually get from these crates is the dragon items. And you see, I just got a dragon medhelm right there. And they are all actually 1 in 600 drop rate to get the specific one you want. So if I was going for a dragon medhelm, it would be a 1 in 600 to actually get it. So not a really good method of getting them. But there are five different dragon items on the table. So seeing any dragon item at all from a crate is 1 in 120. Another very interesting thing is that you can actually get over 40,000 coins from these crates. And rolling over 40,000 coins like I just did here is actually a 1 in 500 chance. So that is more rare than getting the pet. And all you get is really just more than 40,000 coins. So we're down to the last six crates, but I do have to say the tracker is really strange. I started with 70 from the last one, not tracking 30 of them. And I, it seems like it's counted to extra this time for some reason. So yeah, I don't really know exactly what's going on there. But uh, let's go ahead and open these. I'll just go through them quickly. And we did no one soul rune. That has to be rare. One single soul rune. I have never seen that. But uh, yeah, no pet this time either. So let's get back into soul wars. Oh my god, look at that, 544 experience drop. When people stack like this, the dragon crossbow comes through with its special attack. Oh my god, I actually finally found him. I looked him up on the high scores beforehand. This guy is the rank 1 person in the entire minigame. But there we go, another 3000 points to spend, another 100 crates to open. We're going to be hitting the 300 mark here. Let's see if this is going to be the ones. 
It is not looking good. We only have five more crates to go. So let's go ahead and open these all on video. Coins, adamant arrows, uncut rubies, the general stuff that you get. Snapdragon seeds, pure essence, and no pet this time either. But before we end this clip, just look at some of these things. Almost 300,000 pure essence. 14,000 adamant bolts and almost 7k runite bolts. These are all so good stuff for Iron Man and even the ore as well. Like, look at all these ore. If you're an Iron Man, this is definitely the way to go if you want to get supplies. So usually I get like 1,000 seal in 5 hours, making it 15 hours for every 3,000 seal. But this 1,000 actually took me 8.5 hours. So this, for some reason, was a really bad session, and because we only have 3,000 points left overall, I'm going to be doing it every 1,000 that I get, so three smaller openings. Let's see if we can get lucky on this one. So we could buy 34 crates, and these are the last eight. Might as well open them on video. Let's see, are we going to be getting the pet on the first 1,000 seal? It does not seem like it. And for a bit of an update, we have opened 334 crates out of the 400 potential ones, and we do not have the pet yet and there we go that is another 1000 points earned and we need a total of 66 more crates so let's buy 33 this time and then for a last one if i do not get the pet on these ones another 33 and we are on the absolute last ones out of those 33 ones and we did not get the pet so we only have 33 more crates a thousand points overall left to go it is not looking good for getting the pet i have to say I think we're actually finally going to be done. I think this is the final game. It's going to be a loss, but I need 40 points to actually finish this grind. And we do get that. I need a 990 points and we have that now. I have to say, I am really tired of this grind and I am so happy I'm done with it. Look at this. The entire grind took me 64 and a half hours to complete. So it was definitely a pretty long one. But let's go ahead and get the last crates, get the counter on the collection log up to 400, and see if we get the pet or not in the last 33. If we see a collection log pop up, then we know that we won the challenge. If not, then unfortunately, I guess we have a giveaway to do. Seven last crates. What are we going to get for these? I am actually getting kind of nervous. Dragon Maze. Two more and no pet oh please give me the pet on this one ah oh, we lost the challenge unfortunately and let's go over the collection log go to mini games we can find soul wars and that is now exactly 400 spoils of war opened and no pets on the collection log so this right here on the screen is all the loot that I got from the spoils and even though it does say 353 it is very accurate in terms of what loot I got just not how many crates I opened as I did mention before and the average value that I got from each crate is 91,447 GP. So let's talk about the giveaway. This is going to be a juicy one. So usually I would give away 50% of the money that I actually earned during the challenge. But because this is a pet, a very big one, I might as well give away everything. So I'm going to be giving away 32.2 million GP. And not only that, Goonro, which is a clan member, a Discord member, a super cool guy in the community, is deciding to give away 20 million to you guys. So the overall giveaway is actually going to be 52.2 million GP. It has actually been a while since I did this big of a giveaway and how you actually participate in this giveaway is on the screen right now. And there is no requirement to join this or anything, you just have to do what's on the screen. And on top of that, if you are an Iron Man, a group Iron Man, anything like that, I could buy bonds for you or other ways of getting you the money. But I do hope you guys all enjoyed the video and good luck on the giveaway. And I will see you guys in the next one. Take care.